The South Korean military captured a North Korean man who climbed over the barbed wire fence along the border. During the search, the anti-infiltration level was raised to the highest. Kim ji has the full story. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said a North Korean man was taken into custody some 14 hours after he crossed the inter-Korean border. A South Korean military official said the man was first spotted near the border by the military surveillance equipment late Monday. He was detected again on Tuesday evening and was seen climbing over a barbed wire fence in the demilitarized zone. Sensors installed and the fence designed to monitor movement had not been triggered due to a malfunction. The military were unable to detect him afterwards due to blind spots in its coverage of the country's front lines in its mountainous eastern region. A military operation was initiated to form a blockade and prevent the man from advancing further south. During the process, the military had raised its three-part anti-infiltration alert level in the region to the highest level one, which usually signifies circumstances of an enemy infiltration for an attack. But the level has been lowered to its usual level after the man was captured and with no unusual movement by the North Korean military. South Korean authorities are currently carrying out their investigations into the man's identity and motive for crossing the border, including whether he was trying to defect, but initial findings indicate that he is a civilian. This is not the first time the South Korean military was under scrutiny for not promptly apprehending North Koreans along the inter-Korean border. It failed to detect a North Korean soldier that attempted to defect to the South in 2012. And in 2009, a North Korean civilian crossed over the border by cutting the DMZ barbed wire fence. Kim Jian, Arirang News.